episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. So today, uh, I don't really plan on doing that much. I just plan on, oh, what's this? Got something in the mail. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my, <laughs> oh my god, Tony Shinless Boy. Okay, more, more mail. Oh, there we go. Hello there, I just got back from the fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willy. Do I trust Willy? Hey Melody, should I trust Willy? Alright. Let's go and trust Willy. Cutscene. He does look like an old fisherman. Oh, hi there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Good to finally meet you too, Willie. Uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty sea. Oh, what happened? Okay, there we go. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Good job. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that you... that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Well, okay. Hey, that's a generic fishing pole. You received a bamboo pole. And, okay. There's good water here in the valley. Yeah, because it's, you know, full of sewer water. Not water. Sewer. All kinds of fish. Oh, yeah. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Alright, I will. I'll also buy anything you catch. That's awesome. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old peppy t used to t uh, say to me. Alright, there we go, back on smoking. Alright, so I found out something a little bit ni- oh. Oh, we'll pause. There we go. I found out something a little bit nifty here. And if you guys press this button, it'll organize your inventory. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, I don't really want to fish next to- Next to Willy. I kind of want to go over here to this dock. I don't know why I just want to do it. Maybe I'll find some cool stuff. Okay. Oop. Let's see. So there's gonna be a lot of fishing in this series, by the way, guys, since uh, I really like fishing in this game. Because you can get a lot of money from it. So, yeah. This is the longest it's ever taken for me to get a bite, though, so. There it is. Alright. So the first time I started fishing in this game, it kind of confused me. It'll, because I I didn't know how to do it at all. So I got ooh an 11 inch herring. That's pretty good. Oh, but the fishing in this game kind of confused me at first because it got rid of the mouse whenever I clicked it, and then I realized oh it, oh I just need to click. Oh my gosh, this fish. This is insane. Oh. Got it. I got a one inch sardine. Oh, but this one's a. This one has a star on it. So what, it, so what that means is that, like, it'll sell for more. Or it'll give you more energy or so, and some. Eh. And stuff. Oh, inventory cool. But yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I don't really need to use seeds. Uh, the thing with the shells here. 
is that they actually... What's that? <laughs> what is that? Can't chop it. The thing about these shells is that they, uh, they don't sell for a lot. Yes, they do. They sell for, like, a ton, actually. But not only that, but they also, um, level up your foraging, and I think that's used whenever you're chopping wood. So, I don't think... I'll, I'll just sell this one and start eating, actually. That's actually a smart idea. Alright, Willie, where are you? I'm gonna sell you this... Actually, I'll just sell you both the fish. How about that? Boom. Oh, that's actually a lot. And right now, I'm actually thinking of getting that backpack. Because, uh, that'd just be sort of more beneficial to me than, uh, you know, other stuff. I don't know what I was gonna say there. But, today's episode, I was actually mm -hmm. planning on... Not farming. Yeah, farming. I was thinking of a different kind of farming. Sorry, guys. But I did plan on doing, a a little bit more of farms. So, a really good starter farm in this is actually getting, I believe, potato seeds since uh, they regrow and you can like constantly grow them and use them. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And since I have quite a bit of money, I'm going to, not quite a bit, but I have a, ta I have a decent amount of money for this early in the game. I just need to find where Pierre's shop is. Um, <laughs> crap. Oh, hello there. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. Keep talking to you. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Alright, you seem like a genuinely nice person. Oh, wait. Guys, I can snoop through trash cans. Oh, she just saw me. Let's just go talk to her. Since we still need to talk to new people. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Haley. Okay, cool. I can keep talking to you. If you weren't... If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be... Hey now, these glasses are amazing. And same with the overalls and the pants. I need to wear these on the farm. Not the glasses specifically, but the overalls and the pants. Let's give the overall look to it. So I just found your shop finally. Um, I think I can sell these uh, mixed seeds if I can, but that gives me zero. So, um, so bean starters. Let's actually get like three of these since they do cost a bit. Okay, so we could get potato seeds, but I do kind of want more parsnip seeds since these only take four days to grow. They're only twenty, uh, whatever these are, gold. Uh, I don't know what to call it. But, I think, yeah, well, let's just stick to the bean starters. <laughs> I like how you hold them above your head. Instead of, like, you know, actually just walking around with them. Normally. And now to find my house. Unlike I did last episode. Alright. This way. Hello there, Mr. Squirrel. Okay, so here is probably one of my houses. So, let's put, oh, that was the main thing. So we can put that into that, and that into that, and we can get some money for it. And, uh, what we should do now is I should actually start the farm right over here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Now the weird thing about these plants is that you can't walk through them, so unlike the, the parsnip seeds. So, oh my gosh, I forgot to water these. Oh my god. That was a bad idea. Boom. Boom. So that's probably the only reason why I would prefer getting like uh, parsnip seeds over these... What were they? The bean seeds. I think I called them potato seeds actually at first. So... Yeah. <laughs> um, let's also start off by getting some wood here. Because of reasons. I don't know why. I just want some wood. <laughs> Alright, now I know why. Because I kind of want to finish that bridge. And that takes like... I believe it takes 300 wood to finish off. So yeah, I only have 50 at this point. And I also want to make a chest. So, yeah. Well, this 
looks like a bigger tree. 17 more. So I'm actually nearing 100. That's good. So I do plan on meeting some more of the townsfolk later on. So just not right now, because I'm just needing to get up to gather some stuff. I think I found out what the guy's name, uh, like the guy's name on the YouTube channel was. I think it was like Avac or something. Uh, so yeah, Avac or something. That, that's the name. So let's, we don't we don't really need the stone. We'll just gather anyway, cause reasons. Okay. Sorry guys if I sound a little bit like not tired. Sorry guys if hey, my voice kind of sounds a little bit strained. I, I just had some fries and uh, they were just extremely salty. So yeah. 125. What can I get for food? Because I really need food. A fluid obtained from trees. Minus 2 energy. Yeah, no thank you. Maybe there are some like parsnip, not parsnips, leeks, I believe, somewhere over here. Mm, nope, no leeks. That's sad. What's this? The bus to Calico Desert is out of service. Okay, so we can't even get back to the Georgia Company anyway. That's kind of sad. Oh, oh, I accidentally bumped the mic, but there's a leak. Mm. Yep, it's a leak. <laughs> Love the way that people eat things in this game. Uh, I already met you, okay. Uh, oh, what's this? Star Drop Saloon. So someone just entered into it, let's go. Food and Spirits. Who are you? Oh my god. <laughs> Your sprite does not match your face at all. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Hi Pam. Hey guys, give me another ram. <laughs> hey Gus, give me another ram. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on saying that. She's gonna, just gonna keep on saying that. Alright, hello there. I believe your name's Gus. Yeah, it is. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hi, please, relax and enjoy yourself. Okay, you already said that? Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do the evenings or in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. That's where you're working currently, like right now. All right, let's walk over here. Actually, no, oh, it's starting to turn night though, so I might have to retire soon. Oh, what's this? Journey of the Prairie King. Okay. Oh, so shoot is this? Whatever this is. Oh my god. Wow, I suck at this game. Oop. Wait, what? <laughs> that confused me too. Is it? Boom. Oh, so in essence, it's just like a game for you to just to sort of waste your time at. Oh my god, I didn't know it was those guys. Alright, let's keep on going. Oh, we got a. Uh, we got where that is. Oh! Okay. This is helpful. No thing can touch me. Nothing. Boom. Oh crap, that was not a smart idea. I am not a smart. Dang it. What's that supposed to be? 
Was I supposed to shoot that? Oh my god. I'm at negative one left. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's quit. I don't I don't wanna become a video game addict. <laughs> can we what is that? Nothing that we can use. Okay. That's good. Well, that was kinda of fun. Okay, what's this one? There's a school shaped keyhole in it. Joja. Oh, no, that's too much. God no. Oh, hi there. Shane. What what do you want? Go away. But Shane, I just want to be your friend, man. Come on, man. I just want to be your friend, man. Again, okay, so I'm at fourteen out of twenty eight people. That's a decent number. Who are you? So or oh hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Sound like a jock. You look like a jock. I'll see you around. See you around too, mate. Alright, what's in here? Okay, there's an old man in a wheelchair. If it's irritating to have to meet all these people Huh? Name is George, by the way. Now buzz off. Okay. You're a mean spirited per old man. Okay, so your name's Evelyn. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dearie. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay, Granny. Okay, you're that one guy that I just met, the jock. Um, hmm, let me just walk back down here. Okay, then, so that's whatever that is. <laughs> oh, what's this? This is a mobile home. This is a mobile home. What's in here? Who is in here? No one. That Shane guy probably lives here. I hope he does. He's a mean, spirited person. And so am I for telling you, for asking, or for wanting him to live there. Oh, th this is Mary Lewis's house. I'll talk to him anyway. Just place anything you want. Okay, yeah. I already know this old man. Alright, let's go somewhere. Um, what, where should I go? I have no idea. Oh, these are some tombstones. Our beloved Mona. It's old and faded. Oh. Una Dungu. What? <laughs> What's this one say? Nothing. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Okay, then what's. It's locked. Oh. So we can eventually enter the sewer. That's good to know. Alright, so maybe we can enter people's houses whenever we want. I have already talked to you. Uh, yeah, let's just walk back outside. She got me cute though, so I have to give her like a gift or something. Okay, that's open until like nine. Not nine. It's open until like something. I don't know. I didn't read it. <laughs> but I think that marriage in this game plays a somewhat big role, since uh, I've, I I don't know. I just think that like marriage in most games like this are like some of the biggest things so yeah <sighs> all right let's uh let's gather some stone actually oh we got a geode <laughs> nice you received a stone so what geodes are is they uh if you bring them to the blacksmith i believe you might get some special ore or something like, uh, you may get, like, a special gem, like amethyst or, um, what is it? Topaz? It's usually topaz, because it's not that rare. But, I recommend that you guys try to get as many geodes as possible. And, uh, later on, you'll see them, sort of, a lot more than you do now. So, yeah. Okay. I'll talk, you guys will know why later, but, yeah, for now, I'll just leave you with mysteries and questions oh crap I'm getting tired alright nah, there we go alright so I think it's time for me to go back inside let's actually see what's on the news tomorrow welcome to Kozu 5 your number one source for weather news and entertainment and now the weather forecast for tomorrow it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Oh, that's actually a good time to sort of explore a lot more. So, 
Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's sleep. Oh, I got my foraging up, so I can now craft wild seeds and field snack. Alright. So, forging, that gave me... Okay, that's clam. <laughs> then fishing, that's a mussel. Then 80. Okay, I got 80 gold. Third day spring. Alrighty then, guys. My name is CCG. Remember to like this video if you did enjoy it. Also, subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. And, uh, yeah, guys. Love you all. Peace, peace.